Hi there and welcome to That Goes Crypto, a channel where you can find tools to pilot your crypto decisions. As you may know, Red Light Finance is about to launch a node project called Scarlet Chains. If you have not done it yet, please have a look first at the project overview video. The link should appear on the top right corner. Assuming you are now familiar with the project, let's discover how this compound strategy simulator works and how to play with it. The purpose of this simulation is for you to be able to test some compounding strategies, taking into account the complexity of Scarlet Chain's project. By definition, there are some approximations, made in order to keep the simulation somehow user-friendly, at least I tried. Obviously, it cannot be considered as a financial advice, and this is not an official red light finance tool, this is just me as a regular user sharing what I have developed. Let's go! So the spreadsheet is having three worksheets. I would strongly recommend to read the user guide section. Yes, I know, this is the last thing you want to do, but it may be a good start. I have tried to post here some critical information on how the spreadsheet is organized, with details on each worksheet, the parameters first, and then the simulation page. How they work, and the definition of the various columns with some examples. You can anyway access it at any time, would you need to check a few definitions. Let's start with the parameters page. A general rule for this simulation is that the user input cells are highlighted in blue, like here. So on this page, user can update this section with chain quantity and unclaimed amount, or this initial wallet balance and the enhancer NFTs you own here. The other data in red are representing the key parameters used for the simulation. This is from the Scarlet Chains white paper. So the first thing you should do is to enter the quantity of chains you want to start the simulation with. Let's say I want to try 5 reds and 4 platinums, without any black. The simulation is ready to start at this stage. The other manual input are optional. Example, if you want to start your simulation having some unclaimed rewards from each chain, that's possible. Just add it here. If you have some SCAR in your wallet, then you can also start specifying it in this cell. In case you are a lucky owner of one enhancer NFT, then you can also take it into account. Let's say you have a red light link, select one in the quantity owned column, and then you see the reward boosters are calculated. Imagine having a full moon. You also see the impact of the claim tax, but for now, let's stop dreaming and consider no enhancer NFT. Now, let's go to the simulation page. This page is showing each group of chains, also called chain tiers. The red first, then platinum chains, and then the black chains. Scrolling on the right, you also have the view of your wallet and a summary. If you keep scrolling on the right side, you can also get access to the details of the calculations for each chain tier in case you need it. This page is showing daily views, so the day count is on the left. Day 1 is after the first 24 hours when the rewards have been produced. Quantity is the quantity of chains you own. Here, we said we start with 5 reds and 4 platinum. Daily SCAR is the daily quantity of rewards generated by the quantity of chains you have. A red is generating 0.2 SCAR a day, so with 5 reds, this is 1 SCAR every day. Unclaimed rewards is the quantity of unclaimed rewards on this day prior any action is taken. The next column is adding the wallet balance to the unclaimed rewards. In case you would consider compounding a new red using both rewards type. Action is a drop-down list. Starting with no action, you can also claim. In this case, you see some SCAR are deposited to your wallet after deducting the claim tax. Here, 0.85 SCAR, so the next day you have 1 SCAR unclaimed plus 0.85 in your wallet. If you roll over, then the unclaimed rewards are getting reduced by 5%. I had 1 SCAR generated prior action, now I have 0.95, so the following day is starting with 1 more SCAR to reach 1.95. Next potential action is compound. It means you want to create another red chain using some rewards. For this simulation, you can manage up to 4 compounds in one shot, if needed. Let's take an example. Here, my platinum chains are generating 3.4 SCAR daily. On day 3, I have enough SCAR to compound one new red having 10.2 unclaimed rewards. What happens? The new red is visible in the red quantity, being now 6 on the next day. It used 10 SCAR for this, ok. The remaining 0.2 have been claimed, 
So after claim tax, 0.17 SCAR was deposited in your wallet. You also see that the red LC costs have been incremented accordingly. 5 red LC for a red chain. Let's go back to our definitions. After action and claim rewards, we have already seen how it works. The last column for the chain summary view is showing the upkeep fee that you need to pay at the end of the period. Let's reset all actions. You can press the reset button if you have enabled the macros, either at chain tier level or all actions on the top left corner. Upkeep fee now. The value is calculated based on several information. One, the quantity of rewards generated during a full cycle. So here, five reds have generated one SCAR every day for 14 days, makes 14 SCAR generated during this upkeep period. Then the upkeep percentage is calculated based on the quantity of actions performed every week, zero, one, or two, or even more. By action, we mean either compound or rollover. Claiming is not incrementing the upkeep action counter. Here, no action. The upkeep percentage is 15%, applied to 14 SCAR, are 2.1 upkeep fee. Same thing for the platinum chains, driving 7.14 upkeep fee. You see that your wallet balance is highlighted in red, as it cannot cover the upkeep fee amount paid only on day 14. If you claim, this is not changing the value of the upkeep fee. Let's claim on day 7 to move some SCAR to your wallet. Now, if you roll over once per week, let's say on day 1, so far no change, I only performed one action on the first week. But no upkeep action on week 2, so let's roll over on day 8. You'll notice that the upkeep fee is decreased, as one upkeep action per week is driving 10% upkeep fee, still applied on the reward generated during the full 14 days upkeep period. So here, 1.4 SCAR. You will also notice that the background color has been changing to reflect that you reached the one upkeep action weekly target, now in orange. For platinum, no upkeep actions mean upkeep fee highlighted in red. If I compound on day three and on day six, it is two actions on the first week, but still no action on week two, so still red. One more compound on day nine, as I have 10.2 SCAR available, now getting the one action per week upkeep fee. One more compound on day 12, and you get the minimum upkeep percentage, showing upkeep fee in green now. Cool. You will also notice that when creating a new red, the rewards generated by this new red is taken into account for the calculation of the upkeep fee of the red chains. Okay. That was for the easy part. Now comes the incremental complexity. On top of creating new reds, you can burn four reds to create a new platinum. In the DAP, you will be able to select which red you want to burn. For the sake of simplicity here, I have kept all actions at chain tier level only. So it's less accurate, obviously, as this is not reflecting the granularity proposed by the DAP. Imagine I want to create a new platinum on day 13. This is a chain creation, it does not count for upkeep. In the wallet section, pick the quantity of platinum you want to create, here 1, driving my red chain quantity from 9 to 5. The approximation here is that the 9.33 unclaimed rewards were evenly spread over the 9 red chains. It's wrong, by definition. So, when I burned 4 of them, I only kept 5 divided by 9 times the unclaimed rewards makes a lower amount of unclaimed rewards on day 14. That's not as precise as what the DApp will propose, but that's the base for this simulation. You can also create a black chain and keep playing with this simulation until you reach the level you want. You also have an estimated daily net payout column here, showing how much dollar you could make if you stop compounding and just optimize your claiming strategy. Example, you are okay with the $72 net daily average. Simply start your next period with a claim, then roll over the following day so the rollover is only applied to one day worth of rewards. You can do that a second time at the end of the week and it will reduce the upkeep fee accordingly. That's all for today. I hope this simulation will help you to try some strategies and define the best way to achieve your goals. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press up up. Don't forget to subscribe also in order to be informed on the next video release. Feel free to leave comments, questions here, or to reach out in Discord. You can download a copy of this spreadsheet using the link in the description. Bye for now, and have fun!